Barbie in the green room, man. What's yeah, up, y'all? Yeah, for sure. What's up with you? Nothing much. <laughs> Nothing much. I would say, you know, to all the viewers and to you, this is one of the interviews I've been waiting on for a minute. I've been wanting to get this interview for a while. Yeah. And we finally got it in the green room. It's been a couple years. It's been a couple years. You've been giving me the cold shoulder, man. <laughs> nah, but everything happened on time, man. Yep. So I want to let everybody know, you know, the whole rundown. So Stiff Barbie is a model, a rapper, and an influencer. Mm -hmm. Correct or not? Yes, you're correct. Okay, okay. Any one of those three do you take more serious than the other? Um, I would probably say just influencer in general. I mean, rapper is definitely the main thing, but I mean, my sole purpose here is to be an influencer no matter what I do. Okay. Okay, in the music way, do you consider yourself more of an artist or an entertainer? I would definitely say an entertainer. I love the whole creativity and being an artist and stuff like that. But to be an artist, you have to be an entertainer because you have to sell yourself. You know, if you can't entertain your fans, then you're just being an artist to be an artist. Nah, that's My opinion. No, nah, that's a good. That's a good look yeah. on it too. Okay, so I got to get into it because you know, before we get into the whole journey and everything that's going on in this crazy world. Yeah. I gotta find out. The name Stiff. <laughs> Stiff Barbie. How does that come about? Everyone, I see the Barbie thing. Everyone always asks me that. So Stiff is just like our gang name um, in high school. We just had a gang, FTF Stiff. So FTF is Feed the Fam. It's just like a group of us, um, you know, from high school. We've just been like pretty locked in since like forever. For sure. So it's like a real gang or like a clique or like just friends or what? Are you really gang gang? <laughs> We're gang gang. Oh man, for sure. I, I can't ask nothing else beyond yeah. that, but she say it's real. <laughs> nah, for sure. Okay, so I look to in the music and I see you got you got other artists like Stiff Ocho. Mm -hmm. So that's one kind of thing where they everybody got the stiff name. Yeah. For sure, for sure. For sure. Everyone does. So there's Stiff Ocho, Stiff Jero, mm. me. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, so when you first got into the game as a rapper, you kind of came out, I feel like, strong. Yeah, like definitely. When first came out, you had collabs with Sauce, B-King, and you kind of like, like, pop. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Explain to me what it was like when you first came out. I mean, honestly, the it vibes. was like a dream come true. I mean, I, you know, I feel like growing up, I just always had it, like, easy when it came to, like, rapping. Like, hmm. you know, in the exposure, like, especially being a girl, sometimes it can be harder, but then some people say it can also be easier. But, I mean... I just made that video one day, the Barbie Bitch video, went to sleep, woke up, and that bitch was viral. Crazy. And that's actually your first song ever? My first song ever, first video ever. Mm. I mean, I made it in like a week, dropped it, and it just went dumb. For sure. And you're from Houston, right? Yeah, I'm from Houston, more from like the suburbs area, like Lake Conroe, Montgomery, Conroe area. Okay. Yeah. So when you uh, went viral and you came with that viral song, Especially, you know, repping the stiff game. Yeah. What was it like? A lot of people hating. A lot of people were proud of you. Well, what was the feeling from where you came from? I would definitely say people were just really surprised, I guess. You know, it was just like something very random. You know, yeah. I was always a music. I was a cheerleader. I was a dancer. But just to randomly come out with the music video in high school with already having a bunch of popularity, people were like, one, talking shit. Two, they were loving it. Or three, they were like, what is she doing? You know, like, hating. They were definitely hating. But, like, I mean, when it comes to entertainment, being a rapper, being an artist, I'd rather be talked about than not be talked about at all. You know, that's why I don't really engage with the haters. So it was some hate, though. Oh, yeah, definitely. Okay. Especially from the city I'm from. I mean, it's very just... I don't even know how to describe it. I mean... High school was definitely like a movie. Like when you see a high school movie where there's cliques and popularity and who's weird and who's not, who's, you know, in the streets, who's not in the streets. It's just very cliquish. So, you know, that's being... Houston. That's Houston for sure. Yeah. Well, definitely more from the suburbs because like I said, we're from the suburbs. So it was more of like a small town type of thing. Mm. And I was way different than everybody else. I was way different. So to see everybody else and then me being a little bit different they thought it was like kylie jenner or something uh -huh. well okay so what was the thing that made you so different i honestly don't know like i literally can't explain it like 
growing up, I was just always different than everyone. I had popularity for no reason. Like, I would drop a YouTube video and I wasn't even doing like good makeup. It was a makeup tutorial. Go crazy views for no reason. I think more or less just the reputation I had in school. Mm. I guess, yeah. You were stiff, man. You were stiff. So <laughs> what would you say is like the biggest hatred you received or experienced um, during that time coming out? Teen pregnancy, being mixed in a white school. Okay, okay. All right, let's go into that. So what do you mix with? I'm black, Mexican, and white. Black, Mexican, and white. Yeah. Okay. Uh, man, that's, you know, that's a lot. You know. Yeah, so you're never, do. you're always, you know, too Mexican or too black for the white crowd. You're always, you know, too white for the black crowd. The Mexican people, you're too white, you're too black. You can never fit in anywhere you go, you know? Okay, so how old were you when you got pregnant? 16. 16? And what was that like? Um, honestly, I mean, it was nothing for me. I mean, first finding out, I mean, it was definitely like, whoa, like, is this really true? What am I going to do with my life? I was a cheerleader. You know, I was a very, very, very smart kid in school. I was very much deep into, like, academics. So it didn't throw me off, of course. I still went to college. I still graduated top 3%, still walked the stage with everyone else, graduated early. Um, but, I mean, as far as my family, you know, they were very disappointed in me because, first of all, I was the first kid out of my whole family to even graduate high school. My mama didn't graduate. Her twin didn't graduate. Her brothers didn't graduate. My grandma didn't graduate. Nobody graduated in our family. I was the first person. So, you know, everybody had... Since I was a little girl, they just had high hopes for me. I mean, they thought I was going to be going to college, being like a lawyer, a doctor, a counselor, whatever I wanted to be. You know, they just had so much hope for me. And then I guess I just kind of let them down with getting pregnant. No, so I, I feel you. I feel you. But you, you know, you kind of know your journey, your, your path and everything. Yeah, I definitely overcame all of that. I mean, to me... Yeah, my family may have, you know, looked down on it, but to me, I mean, if anything, that built me into the person I am today. Absolutely. I would not be the character I am without my kids. No, for sure. So how hard is it even just being a mother and maintaining the entertainment, the going into that field, rapping, modeling? How hard is that? Uh, I mean, definitely, like, you have your family talking down on you, like, you know, of course, like, oh, you need to focus on being a mom, or, oh, you need to be with your kids more, oh, this and that, like, you know, everyone's always going to have something to say, but in my eyes, it's like, do what makes you happy, you know? Like, being a full-time mom, I work from home full-time, plus, you know, I have two children under the age of five. On top of that, I was going to school. On top of that, I have modeling, rapping, all the other stuff. To me, it was just easy. I've always been able to juggle a lot. I mean, since I was a little girl, I mean, I had clubs, academic clubs, I mean, theater club, fashion club. I was a cheerleader, a dancer, like played sports, played piano, you know, had a little part-time job. Like I always was keeping myself busy. I never, ever, ever sat down. Even when I got home, I was cleaning my room and cleaning the kitchen, like just always just doing something to be productive all yeah. the time. It sounds so, like you put in a lot of effort. Yeah, I've just always been like that. I've always been on top of my shit. Like that's one thing you can never say about me is I'm not on top of my shit ever. Respect. Yeah. What is one thing you would want people to take from you in the way you move, the way you work, and, you know, just everything that you've been putting out throughout this journey of making this music and becoming an entertainer? Like, how do I want to be viewed? Is that what you're saying? What would you say the main thing you would want people to take from you yeah. when, they, when they see you? I guess, like, a real deal, like, go-getter. Like, I mean, people... When they see me on Instagram, they think, oh, she's stuck up or, you know, she looks like a bitch. She looks rude. E that's what they everybody <laughs> says before they hang out with me. And then once they hang out with me, they're like, damn, like, you're really cool as fuck. Like, that's, I mean, I don't want to be portrayed as that. I guess it comes off like that, you know? Yeah. But I'm a real genuine person. For sure.